Hi, my name is Robert. Please read the comments in the about section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you found what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. Wanted to make this video to let all my boosted friends know what I do about turbos in my car that are old, maybe wearing out a little bit, maybe busted, or whatever. And uh, this turbo in particular is a K24 that came out of a Volvo uh, V70R. Now, this turbo is used in many makes and model vehicles. And I just want to let you know what I do and what I feel most comfortable doing in getting those uh, worn or broken turbos exchanged. A lot of people have put these turbos in the P80 platform Volvo. Volvo A50s uh, for an upgrade instead of putting an oversized standard turbo in there. Here's my daily driver and as you can see I have over 400,000 miles in the car. I drive these cars all over the country. I don't want a turbo going out while I'm driving. My other vehicle is a rare yellow Volvo 850 95 model and this car currently has over 230,000 miles. So I'm not shy with driving them, not shy with putting miles on them. However, I do not want them breaking down on me while I'm halfway across the country. So I only use trusted parts in my vehicle. Turbo on the left is out of a T5 vehicle. As you can see in the exhaust side, the turbine is a good grayish color. It's not dark. This is the rest of it. The compressor wheel down in there. It's the standard compressor wheel. This turbo, you know, 12, 15 years old. So it's got some wear on it. When I check it for shaft play, I have no in and out play. And at first, I could feel no side to side play. After I did it a few times, putting one finger on the back side and the other on the front side, I could see or feel just a little bit of play. Now, I had pulled one of these off of another vehicle. It felt fine, spun nice and smooth. I couldn't feel any play in it. Installed it on the car, 250 miles later, the turbine wheel on the back side of it broke off and fell in the exhaust. Totally broke off. So. If you're putting a used turbo on your car or doing some servicing and you can afford it, you want to get these things rebuilt, checked out. If I'd have been 400 miles down the road with the thing, then broke, I'd have had a problem on my hands. This one on the right, same exact turbo. It came out of, a, I think, a 2005 or 2006 V70R. Sent it to A1 Turbo out there in California to have it rebuilt to make sure it was in great shape because it had a lot of shaft play it was worn out and uh, while it was there the guy at A1 Turbo uh, the owner's name is Tony he's been in the business for over 30 years he's worked all kind of turbos for big trucks to small economic cars he serviced fleets for dealerships and fortune 500 companies he knows his stuff about turbos and he knows how to make sure that they're running like new if not better than new so he can rebuild it like new or he could rebuild it with some upgrades to make it better than new and that's what we decided to do here from the factory this thing came with a 12 blade exhaust turbine wheel as you can see in there if you look closely there's a crack in the exhaust housing that's very common but this turbine wheel has uh, room for improvement one upgrade or improvement that was made to this one it now has a nine blade titanium turbine wheel now this wheel uh, resists back pressure and allows the turbo to spool up faster when you have a faster spool up you have less turbo lag in the old original turbo, it had a certain bearing in it. And this rebuilt and improved turbo, it has a 
improved thrust bearing in it that allows it to spool up faster, get better lubrication, and likely last longer. The stock turbo has a 6x6 compressor reel blade on it. The improved turbo, that A1 turbo rebuilt, it has a taller compressor wheel. It's a billet wheel and it's 11 blade. So this compressor wheel having taller blade profiles, they're at least three centimeters taller. It's the difference between you having a narrow or skinny rowing oar on a rowboat and switching to a, a rowboat oar with a fatter paddle. So this thing's gonna pull more air in, it's gonna spool up faster and give you the boost pressure that you need throughout your RPM range. If you have a 15 year old turbo in your car, 150,000, 200,000 miles on it, that turbo is probably wearing. One of the first signs you'll get in a wearing turbo is, takes longer to spool up, won't deliver the power that it used to when it was newish. That's one of the slight symptoms. And uh, worse symptoms is, when you're smoking under acceleration, and the turbo gets noisy. And then last but not least, you'll wear it out so bad that it will hardly boost at all. Now, A1 Turbo Industries, they can rebuild this turbo to stock specifications and you'll have one just like brand new. Or they can do one or all three of the upgrades like you see on this turbo. The nice thing about it is when they rebuild the turbo and do the upgrades to it, it's cheaper than a brand new turbo and it'll outperform a brand new turbo. So if you put a brand new stock turbo in, put this rebuilt one in, you'll probably produce 30 to 40 more horsepower just by having a better functioning turbo. Now you all know that I'm a DIY guy. So if there's something I feel very confident that I can do myself, I'm just gonna do it myself. But when it comes to a turbo, which is the lung system of your vehicle, I just don't wanna have something that I put in there that's not gonna last 100, 200, 300,000 miles. So whenever I need a turbo rebuilt or want to improve a turbo that I have, like the one I'm gonna put in my yellow car, I send it and contact A1 Turbo Industries in Southern California. This turbo, as I said, has been VSR balanced, it has a good warranty on it. It's been tested up to 150,000 RPMs. I could put that thing in there and not worry about a thing. Now this one is going back into a V70R and I'll get a report back from the guy that owns the car. And I'm sending this one out today to A1 Turbo Industries to get rebuilt. I'll hear back from him and maybe make some notes in the comments section to let you guys know what he thinks about it, how he felt the difference and how the car drove and performed. But I'm telling you, these uh, KKK turbos are good turbos, but like anything else, they wear out. And if you're gonna replace them or rebuild them, it's not a bad idea to do the upgrades on them. Still cheaper than buying a new one and it'll last a good long time. Again, it doesn't matter if you wanna go back with stock performance or if you want some performing upgrades, putting this in the car, he's probably gonna gain 30 to 50 extra horsepower. And then if he decides to do some remapping and some other upgrades, like a manual boost controller or something like that, he'll even get more power out of his performance package. Last but not least, when before he shipped these things back to you, these wastegate actuators are properly tested and calibrated and set properly. So you don't want to go messing around with that. And of course, when you install them, you want to prime the oil system on the car before you start it because you don't want to fire this thing up and run it dry, not even for a minute or two. So install it, prime the oil system before you start it, and this thing will probably last two, 300,000 miles better than new. Just for a recap, your compressor wheel has longer blades on it, at least three centimeters. 
it's an 11 blade billet wheel you got better new improved bearings inside the chra you got a titanium nine blade turbine wheel for better flow the wastegate actuator has been professionally set and tested the unit has been vsr balanced it's been tested up to 150,000 RPMs. It has a good warranty on it and should outperform the stock one. But again, you can get it rebuilt stock or you can get it rebuilt as a performance unit. Either way, it's gonna be cheaper than buying a new one and better than having a new one. If you got any questions, you could look in the comments and contact A1 Turbo Industries directly. Thanks for watching. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.